I was informed she was rushed to the hospital, but the hitman I sent said there's no way she'll survive. I don't care about your stupid, incompetent workers, or hitmen, or whatever you call them. I simply want to know if she is dead or not. Is she? Mom, I don't know for sure, but they said she was just... You don't know for sure? Then why don't you go back out there, go to the hospital they say they took her to, do lick her boo, and find out if she's dead or not? Yes, ma'am. Get out of here! Excuse her now. She needs a lot of time to rest, okay? Don't worry, she'll be okay. Take it easy, she will, okay? Jesus, what, what, where is Vivian? Where is Vivian? What happened? I was told she was knocked down by a little one. Let me see her. Uh, come, 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 come. Don't no, 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 no. She's all right, okay? She'll be very, very fine. You see, right now she's sedated and deep asleep. And you can't talk to her and she, she wakes up. But, but, but what really happened? It's a miracle. You see, no bone was broken and not much bruises apart from the one on her tights. I think a vehicle hit her from behind, thereby Jesus. throwing her across the bonnet. You see, if it would have been from the front, only God knows what would have happened by now. Who knows, she might have died. That is why I said it is a miracle. You see, all she needs right now is a lot of rest. She has been through a lot today. Please, you go home and come back later, okay? And why? Actually, uh, Wangi had an accident this morning and he went to see her. This guy is for him. For Michael? Is his birthday present from Sylvia? <laughs> A brand new car for my brother for his birthday. Hey! Hospital, I'll bring him back. No, 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 don't bother. Just tell him Sylvia sent this car. Michael, I told you, 
I told you, with silver by your side, heaven is in your pocket. Hey, 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 on your duty. Who's winning? Steven. Steven. Yes? Sylvia brought this car. Yes! Your birthday present. <laughs> your dream come true. Your prayers answered. And why did you allow her to park this car here? My girl, are you out of your senses? Michael, do you know you have to work for more than 10 years before family problems allow you to purchase a second hand of this car? <laughs> Young man, are you for Vivian or against her? Who is Vivian? Who is Vivian? Michael, you think because you and Vivian love each other so much and one day the whole nation will contribute to give a car like this? <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me. Can't you read in between the lines? Isn't it obvious that she's trying to buy me over? Yes! And at a good price. So you should sell. You think if Vivian sees a millionaire tomorrow, she won't dump you like one piece of rag or something? <laughs> she will. She dumps no Women. For God's sake, why can't she leave me alone? Why can't she let <laughs> me be? Michael, she has promised you a good career. Safe future, financial security. Oh, now, look at this virgin car. Pocha, pocha. Hey! Michael, what has Susan promised you? to love you to death. How much bill can you pay with that? Hmm? Now listen to me, young man. I don't need this car. Listen, I can't hurt Vivian anymore. Let her get that into your head. Go and tell her to come and take this car away from here. You heard me. You go tell her yourself. Is that it? Go tell her yourself. Is that it? Hey, hey. It's okay. Oh, 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 Hello. Why are you disturbing my line? Oh, you don't seem to be happy that I called. But I can understand that. Let me tell you something, Sylvia, or whatever they call you. If you're calling me to make more offers to me, go and tell it to the dogs because I am not interested. I know we got off on a very wrong footing and I must have given you a very wrong impression of myself. But I wanted you to know that I was only fighting for something that I thought was mine. And now that I have realized that it is not mine, I... I'm willing to back out, you know? I'm willing to back out and, and let you be. Wait, what are you trying to say? Are you trying to say that you no longer want to snatch Michael away from me? No. No. He's all yours now. All yours. Look. The fact that I tried so viciously to take him away from you. It doesn't mean that I am your enemy. No, Vivian, I am not your enemy. In fact, I'm a friend. I'm a lady just like you. I'm harmless, you know? I actually just heard what happened to you. And I feel extremely pained and sorry about the situation you're in. So I thought I should call and just express myself and let you know how much I feel for you in the situation. How come I don't believe you? Vivian. You know, I was actually hoping that Michael would be there so I could see this to his hearing. Vivian. I am your friend. Really. Look. Like I said earlier, 
I'm just a lady like you. You probably would have done the same if you were in my shoes. Okay? Okay. Michael is here. Talk to him. But please, make it brief. What do you want again from her? Look, Michael. Vivian and I are friends now. And I just want you to know that I want you to take care of her. I don't ever want to hear you maltreated her or you refused her the kind of love and attention that she needs. Otherwise, you would have me to contend with. <laughs> By the way, did you like the gift I sent you? The car? A car for my birthday? Of course, I mean, why not? Look, Michael. You've done a lot for me already. I mean, the shares I bought in your bank that you personally monitored has just accrued well over 42 million naira. I mean, come on now. How much is a car of just barely 4 million compared to that? It's a gift from me to you just to say thank you. Moreover, it's your birthday. Um, also, that reminds me. I want you to know that um, I have spoken with the doctor in charge of Vivian and I've asked him to forward to me any accrued medical bills and I'll pay it all, I'll clear it. But in the meantime, I have given to him 200,000 Naira so he could use, you know, as advance just in case you guys need to do any emergency spending and all that. Oh, thanks, 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 thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, I'll be traveling to Abuja for a few weeks, uh, but I'll keep in touch. Um, I'll leave you guys now, you know, to do your lovey-dovey thing. <laughs> I'll leave the lovers, you know, to have fun. But you guys should keep in touch too, okay? And I would really love to see you guys during my birthday. All right? Uh, Sylvia, thank you so much for everything. Especially for your concern over Vivian. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. All right, you have a nice day. Bye. <laughs> you gave away that car and 200,000 naira for medical bills. And you're still willing to do more. I don't understand why. Kathy, it is for my care. But Michael has made his choice. And you said you were going to tell Vivian that you've asked of him. I just did. I still don't understand. <laughs> Very soon, you will understand, my dear. What is for lunch? I'm famished. Baby, it's getting late. I have to go to work tomorrow, okay? Must you go? See, you'll be discharged tomorrow. I'll be here after work to pick you. Okay? I don't want to eat anything. Why doesn't he like staying with me? So because you work in the bank, 
you think you can snatch my girl away and go scot free? Are all those girls in the bank not good enough for you? Now it's my only girl in campus that you want to snatch away. Oh, please, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't you know shut what you're talking about. Please, please. I'm talking about Vivian, you fool. <sighs> please, 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 please. <laughs> Now let me warn you for the last time. The next time you get this close to that girl, you will regret every bit of your life. Vivian is my woman. We live together in campus and we'll get married immediately after her graduation. Let me warn you. Never you ever get that close to her again or there will be a hell on the board of you. Fool. Seen it since. Vivian will drive you to your grave one day. He get a parade around with the street court group. That's who you going on this for? I thought that girl is homely and well behaved. Pretend! She is a good pretender. Who knows how she ended up in the hospital? Aye. Maybe from one of our sugar daddies. Ah, uh, 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 Stephen, please, please. Sorry. Uh, just keep your opinions. To yourself until I speak to Vivian, please. I won't. That girl has bewitched you. I must break that jinx. Uh, Michael. Papa. You must listen to me. I'm your father. I'm listening, Papa. I'm listening. You know girls can be deceptive as long as they are still in school. They will do anything as far as the shadows of the school campus can cover and hide them. What are you saying? What are you saying? I am saying that you almost lost your life. I am also saying that that girl must tell you who those hoodlums are. Otherwise, I wouldn't like to see her anytime here or around you. That's all. Ha. I should be asking you, you vicious bitch. I beg your pardon. Look at you. Can't you feel the hands of me, you pretending sir? Ah, what kind of joke was that? You nearly hurt me. Really? Vivian, so you have another boyfriend on campus. <laughs> what boyfriend are you talking about? Are you drunk? You ask me that question again the second time, I swear to God, I'll do to you twice the evil they did to me. I swear. I said your cult boyfriend. Your cult boyfriend and his cult who nearly killed me. My girl, if this is a joke, I am not laughing. You won't be. You won't be by the time I descend on you. My God, Vivian, I left Sylvia, the vice president's daughter, because of you. I left her love because of you. I left her wealth, her personality, all because of you. And this is what you give me. I never knew that you were just like one of them who parade the streets, lay about irresponsible girls. Vivian, why? Why? 
They've lied to you again about me. It's all lies and I don't know what you're talking about. You called it lies, right? You call this lie? No, you call this lie? You call this lies? The prisons that took the beatings? You call it lies? My girl, I swear in the name of God, I don't have any other person. I'm not dating any other man. Why would I want to go dating somebody else when you've given me all the love I'd ever want? What? You know what? You go tell that vagabond that the police will catch up with him, I swear. And as for you, go and live with him as usual. It's okay. But when you're through, I'll talk to you. You heard me. God, what is happening to me? What is happening to me? What have I done again? What is all this? Hey, thank you. I haven't done anything wrong. Say by midday. Okay, sir. I'll call you, sir. I do have a nice day, sir. Bye. Hello? What? Jesus. Acid bath? On their face? No, no. Okay, okay. Yes, it's Michael speaking. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, please. The, uh, which hospital? Okay, okay. Okay. So because you work in the bank, you think you can snatch my girl away and go scot free? Are all those girls in the bank not good enough for you? Now it's my only girl in campus that you want to snatch away. Oh, please, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't you know what you're talking about. Shut up, please, please. I'm talking about Vivian, you fool. <sighs> please, please, please. Gosh. My God. They did it. They carried out their threat. Oh, no. Vivian, why? Okay, 
she's severely burnt all over her face and uh, as you can see the skin is damaged due to the third layer you see the only repair possible in order to save her sight nose trees and mouth is through surgery and skin grafting which is tedious and very very expensive and um, it's not a hundred percent guarantee cheer up okay We'll do our best. Can you hear me? Vivian, it's me, Michael. Vivian, you've got to tell them. You've got to tell them the truth. You know who did this, don't you? Vivian, you cannot hide them. For how long are you going to hide them? He said it. See, you just have to tell the police who did it. Your school boyfriend. Vivian, you can't. You can't continue. Look, you can't continue like this. Look, look at what you've done to yourself. Look at what you've brought upon yourself. He said it. He said he was going to do this to you if I don't leave you. You just look, I warned you, I told you. But you didn't listen to me. You know what? If that's how you want it, so be it. It's your own choice. For God's sake, I've been fooled enough. God. <laughs> Please, Michael. Please don't leave us. I need you, please. Please, Michael. Ah, uh, Ola. I don't think she needs me anymore. Please, Michael. Please, please, Michael. She's having an affair with some secret cult boys who attacked me two nights ago. Oh, my God. No. They want me to stay away from Vivian. I forewarn Vivian. But this stupid idiot refused to listen to me. She refused. Now, the annoying thing is that she chose to to hide it. She chose to conceal this, this, this old lumps. She, it, 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 okay. it gets a little... It's okay. Oh my God. Take it easy. Okay, just take it easy, Michael. They threatened to bathe her with acid. No. Now they carried out their threats today. No! As I'm talking to you right now, Vivian has been bathed with raw acid. How? No! Trying to tell me that some miscreants have bathed that poor girl's face with acid? That's it. That's it. Oh, Where is she now? She's there in the hospital. What hospital? Uh, what's this? Uh, Saint Saint Jude's Hospital. You know. She's there. A critical condition. Facially deformed. Oh God. And the doctor says if surgery is not carried out immediately, her condition is going to be much, much more critical. That's what the doctor said. This is terrible. How did anybody do this? She fooled me! No. What did I not give Vivian? I gave her faithfulness, I gave her trust, I was there for her, I chose her over you. Is that not enough? No, no. What the hell? Oh, stop, stop, okay? Is it fair? No, please. I don't, this is not the time. Michael, this is not the time to 
you know, throw accusations and then, you know, no, it's not the time. Please, I beg you. Right now, we need to do something fast. We need to help her. That's what we need to do. You need to help who? You need to help the same person who has refused to he reveal the, the, the culprit, who carried out that dastardly act on her, is the person you want to help, somebody who does not want to help herself. This is not the time to get angry or feel any kind of hatred or anger. This is a time for us to act quickly. We cannot leave that girl to suffer. We must help her. We must do something. Do, do, Sylvia, do something. Do something like what? What, what? what do you want me to do? For starters, we can, you know, I don't know the, the, where this hospital is, you know, the uh, Jude's hospital or whatever you call it. But then I need to go find out if it's a good hospital. We, we could start by taking her to a specialist hospital. And if she's not getting well quickly, then we can fly her abroad. What, what, what? Sylvia, is this you talking? No, no, no. I, 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 I want to get this straight. You mean you still have a heart of compassion for the, the someone who, who sees you more or less as an enemy? Someone. Shh. Shh. Enough. Enough of that. Okay. Enough. 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 Is she dead? Because she wasn't moving. No, she's sedated. And right now she's asleep. I see. What is the medication going to be like? Uh, true skin grafting and uh, she's not going to be the same again. It's going to be very expensive. Don't worry, you can leave the whole course to me, okay? Oh, very well, then we'll go ahead with it. Is she going to have ugly scars, you know, all over her face? Um, maybe or maybe not. But for the meantime, her sister has gone to get us a picture of her. If we find enough flesh on the body, it will favor her. But if not, I'm afraid it might not really look so good. Hmm. Um, I already gave you a check of uh, five million. If there's anything you need more, just let me know, okay? Yes. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much. Nice. Take you care.
much more secure place outside this hospital, okay? Uh, and uh, one more thing, make sure nobody knows of her. No. Please, if anybody seeks for her, tell the person she is dead and in a mortuary. At least that way they will stop disturbing her or looking out for her until the surgery is done. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, nurse, you take good care of her, okay? I'm so sorry I have not been able to come and see your sister at the hospital due to work pressure. How's she doing? Vivian is dead. Oh my God. What? She died two days after she was admitted at the hospital. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Uh, has she been buried? No. She's still in the mortuary. Do you mind? I'm in a hurry. I'm going for a family uh, meeting. Why don't you come in? Let me drop you off. No, no, no. I can manage. Uh, please, I'm so sorry. Listen, uh, this is my card. In case you need anything, please let me know, please. Thank you. So sorry. the much we can to save your sister's face. Today we're going to remove the bandage from her face so that we'll be able to see any development, okay? And uh, if it's all right by you, do we proceed? Yes, please. It's all right. Uh, nurse, please, do that for me later. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go. Yeah. It's all right. That's it. You're almost true. 
Vivian. Vivian. Vivian, can you hear me? Yes. How do I look? Now, uh, nurse, please get to the mirror. Today. Okay, but Vivian, are you sure this music thing is what you really want to do? For now, yes. Until I'm able to raise enough money to go back to school. I'll finish, I'll finish from where I stopped. Okay. Hello, Fredo. Before I forget, somebody important needs a life of month in her, in her party. And they're paying well. You like to be there? Mm, well, okay. Since you're paying fine according to you. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow, 7 o'clock, yeah? Alright. Why was he calling you Clarion? I had to change my name. Vivian is dead to the world, remember? Yeah, I do. Come on, let's go.
what is wrong, Michael? You don't like the food? No, it's all right. It's great. Uh, just that I was just uh, thinking about... Uh, thinking about what? Sweetheart. Mm. It's been two years you were asked me to stop working, and I did. Okay, okay, on a more, on a different note. I want to candidly ask a question. What is that? Where exactly are we headed for with this relationship? <laughs> Why, you don't like the way things are right now? No, 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 not that, not, not, not that, Sylvia. We have traveled far and wide. Uh, I still remember the great hotels, exquisite restaurants, good food, good wardrobe, nameless and endless, but I hate idleness. As a young man, I love to walk with my intellect, my hands. You, you, you just name it. And earn what? The stipends you were earning from that oh, no. miserable bank? What about career? What about what I spent more than four years in the university? Oh, to hell with no, career. No, no, excuse me, excuse me. What will I be remembered for in the future? Has it ever bothered you? What do we work for? Money, right? Isn't that it? Look, Michael. I will not have my man do a nine to five. No. I mean, you complain about you working and doing something, your do, blah, 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 blah. You monitor our shares. That's work. But, okay. My career, okay, it's all right, it's okay, it's all right. I want to have you going, yes sir, yes sir, to some fools. It's Come okay, on. I said it's okay. Parents? Yes. Michael, why would you want to meet with my parents? Why wouldn't I want to meet with your parents? <laughs> I mean, you know how very busy my dad is, right? Yes. So you want me to go schedule some time to bring a man to him and tell him he's who? You know, who do I introduce you to him as? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Did I hear you right? What am I to you? You're my friend. Yes. You're my good friend. I mean, but my, my, my dad already thinks I'm very unserious. I mean, so until I'm very sure that you're the one, I don't think that's a very wise step to take. Is that it? It's okay. Maybe maybe I asked the wrong question. Maybe maybe I I, I raised the wrong Look, issue. Michael, Michael, Michael. You know my birthday is coming up this weekend. Are you trying to... Remember? But that's not the point. I just asked a simple question. That's no, what do you mean by a simple question? Very, I mean, the, it's, it's very, very, very fundamental. fundamental. It's not like... It's okay, not like okay, 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 I'm sorry. Maybe I... No, you do this all the time. Why are you trying to tell me you're sorry right I'm now? I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe I shouldn't have even talked about it. Right, Mike? I'm sorry. Mike? Yes. Eat your food. Thank you.
It is indeed a beautiful evening. And your beautiful presence here attests to the fact that it is an extraordinary one. Because the essence of this evening is a woman. A woman who has redefined womanhood. A woman who stands out every which time. I have met people. I have met persons. But I have never met one with a golden heart with a beautiful mind. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I indulge you all to please help me welcome to the kickstart with a flourish of ovation as I call on my one and only, my sweetheart, the woman who touches the very essence of my soul, my angel, the lily that adorns my every day. Help me bring to the cake stand a lady with a delectable presence miss sylvia giwa thank you and i need the band to just do some rattly while the band is doing that so that we can just thank you so much the band fine thank you and mr mc thank you so much for a job well done while well, we cost thank you thank you so much thank you very much mr michael Lamadi. I should stand by. Please can get it. We're about to cut the cake. On the count of three. One. Two. And three. Thank you very much. we are old and good friends. No one here is a stranger to each other. We all know each other by the first name. No matter the distance when the morning comes, we still keep up time to acknowledge each other's presence. We have a talent in our midst, a promising talent. Please, if you are touched by a song, I would like you to acknowledge her and sing along with her. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome on stage Lady Clarion. A round of applause, please. Lady Clarion to the stage. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 
Let's get it. Let's get it. We are here today to celebrate with our good friend, Mixi Bagewa. Please, I'm going to call upon Mr. Michael Amadi to come and welcome her to the kickstand. Please, we will have all our Mr. Michael Amadi as you walk on to the stage. A round of applause, please, to Mr. Michael Amadi. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, here present, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a beautiful evening, and your beautiful presence here attests to the fact that it is an extraordinary one, because the essence of this evening is a woman, a woman who has redefined womanhood. A woman who stands out every which time. I have met people. I have met persons. But I have never met one with a golden heart with a beautiful mind. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I indulge you all to please help me Welcome to the kickstand with a flourish of ovation as I call on my one and only, my sweetheart, the woman who touches the very essence of my soul, my angel, the lily that adorns my every day. Help me bring to the kickstand the lady with a delectable presence, Miss Sylvia. Thank you. And I need a band to just do some rattling while the band is doing that so that we can just thank you so much, the band. Fine, thank you. And Mr. MC, thank you so much for our job well done while we cost the gig. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mr. Michael Lamadi. Thank you, Mr. Please, come get it. We're about to cut the cake on the count of three. One, two, and three. Thank you very much. each other. We all know each other by the first name. No matter the distance when the money comes, we still keep up time to acknowledge each other's presence. 
We have a talent in our midst, a promising talent. Please, if you are touched by a song, I would like you to acknowledge her and sing along with her. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome on stage Lady Clarion. A lot of applause, please. Thank you, Clarion, to the stage. Thank you very much.
Hi. Uh, my name is Michael. I know. Oh, sorry. They told me. That was a wonderful song you did out there. You know, there's something unique about your voice that I'm still trying to like. Thank you. But it's getting late right now. I really have to go, please. Oh, no, you, hey, you don't worry. I'll get some someone to drop you off, okay? Besides, you still owe us one more song. Please, I really have to leave. I've got a slight headache. I'm not feeling too strong. Oh, is that why you're so much in a haste? Uh, it's just about my health. I'm not feeling too strong. My health fails me. A round of applause for that. But for your face, the, 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 your voice sounds so familiar to that of somebody that I used to know. Uh, oh, really? Yes. Few people have said the same thing, but things like that do happen. What about your hands, you know, the gesticulations you make with your hands each time you sound went up? Did you, by chance, learn it all? No, no, no. It's just a habit I develop when I sing on the beach. I really have to leave now. Listen, I listen, listen. I, 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 Michael! What are you doing outside? Uh, no, she was having... What are you doing with the girl? Come on, the party is inside. It's groovy. Don't embarrass me. Come on. I'm not embarrassing I want to ask for you. Come on, come on. I want to drink some. Michael. Oh, uh... What's wrong with you? You've been sitting there in that position thinking for about 20 minutes now. Oh. What is it? You lost somebody? I was just contemplating. Contemplating what? Uh, my tomorrow. My... Considering the fact that I've got a lot to do. <laughs> Michael, tomorrow is Sunday. Oh yeah, I... I got a series of commitments with uh, one or two friends that I just have to like. You know, things I just have to accomplish, you know, considering Monday, working day. Just in case you haven't noticed, a lady waits for you in bed. Okay, I'll join you, please. I don't think it's polite to keep one waiting. So I want you to come to bed now. Okay. Michael. <sighs> Hi. What an expected visit. What can I do for you, sir? Uh, please, I came to see Martins, the MC at Sylvia's party. I learned he hired the girl who sang at the party. I need to see the girl urgently. You mean Crayon? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Please, I need to see her. I'm interested in her singing career. Hmm. You man. Oh, no, 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 no. Listen, not, not that. Listen, I'm interested in her singing career. I don't want to date her. Okay. <clears throat> Here is the card of the student she works with. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, honestly speaking, not what you think. I just need to see her. You find her there. Thank you so much. And not what you think, actually. I thought I was going to meet her here. I haven't seen her since yesterday. Please tell her we need a serious answer tomorrow. Please, yeah? Don't forget. Hi, hola. How are you? Fine. Where have you been all this while? I've been around. Wow, that's interesting. What are you doing here? 
I came to see a friend of mine. A friend of yours? Clarion, I suppose? Yes, yeah, so? sir. Uh, please, who is she? I mean, where is she? I, I, I would really want to... Why can you ask me such a question? I, I, I need to know. Listen, listen, Ola. You must tell me who she is. You must tell me where Vivian was buried. How dare you ask me such a question? I, I, it's not all about how the lady... I need to know who buried her. I need to know where she was buried. You go to hell, Michael. You and your murderous self. I have been to hell all this while without Vivian. You understand me? A part of me died until I heard Clarion's voice. Look, please. Tell you what something, Ola. The voice, or rather the face, that of a total stranger, but the voice typical of Vivian. I taught her how to do that. Oh, yes. You also taught her about the bitch. You also taught her how to use her hands and all that yes, stuff. Yes, so. Come on, girl. I need to know. Look, I don't have time. You me. must have time. No. I need to know. You have to tell me. Let me tell you something. A part of me is dead until I see her. I have to see her. But what are you talking about? I must see her! I must see Vivian! Uh, doctor, I really need your help. Uh, I, with due respect, I want you to cast your mind some years back. What happened to them? A young lady was bathed with acid, her face badly damaged. Yes, I remember. You treated her? Of course. Was the operation or uh, the plastic surgery successful? If I may ask, why the interest? Oh, no, no, doctor, out of sheer curiosity, I just want to know if the plastic surgery was indeed successful, you know, what she looks like, probably if you could just avail me with her most current picture. I see. You know I remember you. Me? Yes. When she was knocked down by the car, you visit her often. That's right, that's right. She was baited with acid and you vanished. No. You and uh, the other lady, what's her name again? Doctor. Silver. None of you showed up. For goodness sake, why? Doctor, it's not like that. Sylvia paid the bills. Just the hospital bills. But all she did was just to take care of the bills and she disappeared. As I speak to you right now, she is nowhere to be found. No, no, it can't be, Doctor. Then she lied to me. She did. Doctor, please, please, let's call her Spade a Spade. How can I see Vivian? Please. That I do not know. Oh, I suggest why don't you find out from her sister? It's been a long time. In other words, she survived. She's still alive? Yes. They tried to kill her. Oh God, thank God she's alive. Though her face wasn't the same due to the surgery after the acid bait. But we did our best. We thank God for that. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, so Vivian is still alive. All these years? Doctor. Thank you so much. I do appreciate this. Thanks a lot. You're welcome.
after you're traveling today. I changed my mind. Oh, okay. Um, are you expecting someone? No. But it might be your producer. Remember, you have not gone to the studio for this now. Okay, open the door for him. I'll just tell him I'm not feeling well. Okay. talking about what are you doing here why did you why didn't you tell me why did you lie to me why did you hide yourself away from me Vivian I keep on telling you I am not Vivian look Michael we we're about going out when you barged in here uninvited do you mind leaving I said I am not Vivian. The song? You have sung that song to me and with me over a thousand times. What about the gesticulations you made with your hands each time you sang that song? What about your spirit? Which touches my very soul each time you talked to me, Vivian? That does not prove or mean anything to me. The beach. How could I forget the beach, Vivian? How could I forget the place that you and I used to be together? How could I ever forget the place where I kissed you for the very first time, Vivian? You already have a life with Sylvia. Please, go back to her. No, 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 no. I have no life with Sylvia. To be candid, Vivian, it's been hell all these years since you left. I left? I left. You abandoned me to die at the hospital. You turned your back on me. And you dare tell me that I left. I'm sorry, but but the idiot who threw acid on you, the the bastard. The court is you had on campus as a boyfriend caused all this. Can't you understand? You dare bring back painful memories to me. You stupid and empty head should have told you if I was dating anyone who would rather pour acid on you, not me, the girl he loves. Jesus Christ, what are you talking about? I wasn't dating anyone. At the hospital, someone tried to choke me to death. What? Someone tried to choke you? I saved her life. I walked right into the killer. He was no student. That was the second attempt on her life after the car accident. Your girlfriend, Sylvia, wanted me dead at all costs. It all adds up to her, I know. But what can I do against a mighty personality whose father is a national figure? She had to be safe. So we created an impression with the doctor that she was dead. That way, she will be safe under a new name and a new face. Please don't ruin it for me. Please go away, Michael. Forgive me. Please. Forgive me. I've sinned against you. Forgive me. 
please accept me back into your life, please. I already forgave you, Michael. I have also forgiven myself for letting you into my life. I lost my education and my future. Please, leave us alone to tend to our loss and sorrows. No, 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 please. Let me share in your sorrows. You know, just like I shared in your moments of joy in the past. Please. Let me undo the, the hardship I've brought upon you. Let me bear the burden. But please, Vivian, accept me back into your life. Please. You're already living with Sylvia. Your family doesn't want me either. I do not belong to the class of people you mingle with. We are worlds apart now, oh, my no, dear. No, 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 Vivian. It is I whose world is apart from you. Because of my stupidity, my dumbness. But please, I can still walk the distance to you. Please, accept me back into your life. Vivian, please. Look, Vivian, this is a small screen, you know. Remember, we have an appointment to make. No, 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 no. Vivian, Vivian, please. Vivian, Vivian, please. Accept me back. Vivian, Vivian, Vivian. All of that, please, please. Accept me back. Michael. Leave now. Oh, leave this place for you. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. It's all right. I'm drunk with your viciousness. I'm drunk with the way of evil you sought, Vivian. I'm drunk with the anger you stirred in my soul. What's the blabbing? What, what is this? You're trying to kill her, didn't you? Who? You're trying to kill her, you bitch! <laughs> Michael, are you sure you don't need a psychiatrist? Listen to me, woman. You are the one who needs thorough psychiatric attention. Or much better still, if I don't get the truth this moment, you end up in the mortuary. What truth are you talking? Michael, you are beginning to scare me. Now listen to me. There is much for you to be scared about. The acid bath, the assassins, the accident. For God's sake, you think you are the monster in the lamb skin, all this while and I never knew. But I've got good news for you. She survived it. Vivian survived your acid bath, your assassins and everything. And much better news, I am still so much in love with her. Her face may not still be the same. But the spirit behind her voice, which stirs my soul every time, led me to her. I've got her back. Michael, are you talking about the girl that sang at that party? I thought you told me Vivian was dead. You said so yourself! Sylvia Giwa, I warn you. If you ever, ever get near to Vivian as much as an inch, I swear to God I will kill you and wait for your father. You help me. Stay away from Vivian, you bitch! I have warned you. But Vivian is supposed to be dead. You're a stupid fool. That's what you are. Look at you. Isn't it? Isn't it? 
if you had done the job and done it properly the way I asked you to, all this nonsense wouldn't have happened. Slap me again. I dare you to slap me again. Go ahead if you don't like the color of your skin. Kathy, are you sick? I am sick and tired of all this nonsense. I'm sick and tired of your evil plots, your childish and dangerous desires. Serving you was just the same as serving the devil himself. You disgust me. I quit! You go now. Come in. Watch me. It's over, Sylvia Kiwa. It's all over. Don't try me. Kathy, don't try me! I'm not a good loser, Kathy! Kathy! Mm -hmm. uh, hello? You listen to me, idiot. Look, you lied to me, right? Uh, what are you talking about, Sylvia? Mercury or Messos or whatever they gave birth to you and named you. You look at me and you think you can lie to me? I thought you told me you killed her. How come she's still alive? And so full of it! Now listen to me, you vagabond. If you don't go back and finish the job I paid you for, that you collected my money for, I swear to God, you will be the one to end up in that coffin. Oh, but it's been a while. How do I know her? Oh. You're asking me how you know her. You're a fool. Mercury or Mestos or whatever. You're a fool. Wasn't it you that put acid on her face? So how won't you recognize her? You better go and look for a burnt face anywhere you will find it. Oh, listen to me, you idiot. Because I know you have no brain. Follow my girl. Trail him. And he will lead you to her. And God bless your soul. You better do a good job this time. I'll give you just two weeks. Michael. Hola, Vivia. Why are you people going with your bags? We are going away from you and your Sylvia. Oh, come on, you can't do that. You can't do that. You, 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 you know too well that, uh, look, I have made enough money to take both of you abroad with me. Abroad? Yes. What? For a brighter future, at least to continue your education. I am sorry, we can't do that. Listen, you said you want to be far away from Sylvia. Now, how can you do that, you know, when you're still, you know, in the country? 
Listen, let me take both of you with me. Let's travel to Europe. I can take care of you. We can live like a family, one happy family. Please. station yeah yeah please yeah police your attention is highly needed at uh yes um police dsp solomon do you know this man No, I don't know who he is. Okay. Is she the one you mentioned in your statement? Of course, she is the one. She is. You are under arrest for conspiracy and attempt to commit murder. DSP Solomon? Yes. I will advise you to call your commissioner of police and let him know what you're doing here before I put a call through to my father. For your information, the commissioner has gotten in touch with your father. He's aware of your arrest. Hence, I was personally sent here to pick you. You have indeed come to the end of your road. You talk to me. I will make you regret this. Trust me, you will regret this. You've made a big mistake with me. No, 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 no. You are the worst mistake I have ever made in my life. But you know what? It's 25 years in jail, Sylvia Giwa. Bon voyage. Pika. In about a day or two, she'll be discharged and fit to go. Doctor, are you sure she will be strong enough? Of course she will. She's lucky. It's just a minor flesh wound, okay? She'll soon be fine. Uh, excuse me. Thank God. Vivian. Please. I 
don't want to know what you think about this. The moment she leaves here, we are all traveling to Senegal. You guys will stay there while I make travel documents for all of us to Europe. I'm sorry for the pains I've caused in the past. Please forgive me. Please help me to make amends. Let's all go to Europe. You know, we could just stay there like one big family. Please, I'm sorry. Sweetheart, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, please. Okay, I'm sorry. to the end. 